this is northeastern Oklahoma. I'm on my way to Tulsa and uh, they through the Cherokee Nation. It's uh, pretty through here. Uh, very flat. A couple hills off there in the distance you can see. But uh, very flat terrain. Uh, scrub the trees and things. Uh, very open. Uh, I stopped for gas and it was about three quarters of a mile off the interstate to get to a gas station. And there was a real ancient old beat up truck there pulling a, a horse trailer and the dust on the side of the uh, truck they were in SS Minnow. So I guess they're out for a three hour cruise. It's interesting, uh, listening to the commercials on the radio, especially the political commercials and all, is rather interesting. Uh, I'll try and get one for you that I heard recently that was interesting. It's a totally different world here. Uh, you don't even know how to do a turnpike. You've got to stop every so often, lose about 10 minutes to... Uh, pay a toll. Instead of just giving you a ticket and having you pay when you get off, they've got these toll booths everywhere and you to come to a stop for a while waiting your turn to pay. It's uh, really kind of stupid, especially this day and age. Uh, but it, it's different. It's a different way of thinking out here. But pretty countryside. The overpasses are few and far between. In New Mexico, they're nice because they're all painted. They're works of art. Speed limit on this road is 75. It's 75 on the interstates all through Oklahoma. So you can't make good time from uh, the Welcome Center when I came into the state. Amarillo, Texas, where I'll be staying tonight, is eight hours of driving time. So I'll be on this ribbon of old Route 66, now it's I-44, and it becomes I-40. I'll be on this for eight hours. Look at this. It's kind of pretty over here. A very open country, nothing's built up.